Hello everyone. Okay, just wanted to sh uh, share some insight into um, human behavior. Now, a lot of people, if we win a lottery or if we win, you know, if you get some money, whatever, working in, you know, uh, just imagine that you just run into some money or you have some money in your account. A lot of people are going to tend to spend it on some kind of product. Um, they are not going to invest it. Uh, the reason for that is because we all want something that we can touch, uh, feel. Uh, we don't want to invest money into um, something that we don't see. So it's hard to, uh, hard to s sell people into um, intangible products versus tangible. So people see something, they touch it, they feel it, it's easier for you to sell it. Um, so that has always been the case. A lot of people, um, for them, if the thing is not in front of them, they don't see it, they're not going to take their money out and invest or put it in there. Like a lot of people, uh, if it wasn't for the 401k, a lot of people won't be putting their money in stocks. Okay. Uh, for a long time, I've been the same way. Investment is not something that everybody understands. You have to have an aptitude for it, but a lot of people don't and they don't understand how stocks or any investment works. So, um, uh, you know, and I don't believe in, you know, putting your money in a wrong investment. That would be the worst thing you can do. Uh, and there are a lot of scams and a lot of that, but you have to filter them out. You have to literally, um, you have to know, um, uh, you have to be investment smart. Uh, so I was just looking at, uh, Tesla's, <laughs> you know, I love cars. I, I'm not going to deny that. And I was like, uh, looking at the cheapest Tesla I can get. I saw one for $29,000. I mean, I can get it. Do I need it? No. Nope. I have plenty of cars. Don't drive it. Uh, I just uh, wanted to have a Tesla. Uh, I've never owned a Tesla. And I, um, I know it's a bad idea because the insurance is going to be expensive. It's going to be hard to repair, especially if you buy a used one because only Tesla repairs Tesla and uh, uh, out of warranty is probably not going to be a good idea. But I was looking at it and I was thinking about it like, okay, instead of putting $30,000 in a uh, used Tesla, if I put it in their stock or in another investment and turn my money around, I can double it, triple it. I mean, the way the last year was for stocks, I mean, I was looking at the Tesla stocks and I was watching. I mean, I never invested anything in Tesla stock because I still think he's crazy. Uh, I, I, I think he's the biggest risk taker I've ever seen um, as far as um, investment goes. I mean, um, he knows himself that he didn't himself believe that his company SpaceX or uh, Tesla would make it. Um, he he literally was sleeping in his factory. Uh, so, I mean, I've been following him, you know, like the guy's cool. He's smart. He reads all kind of uh, information. He's well aware. Like, I like people when they know every aspect of uh, a product. I don't like people when they're sitting in a executive uh, chair and they have other people building the product. They just basically financially uh, controlling a company. No, that's not, um, you know, that's not how you create product. You have to be like, you have to understand every aspect of a business. So anyway, he's smart, but he's also a biggest risk taker. Uh, of course, if you, I mean, he's a prime example. If you, he invested everything he had from one company into another one. And then basically um, he keeps on taking bigger and more risk. And so far his uh, um, 
tenacity has worked for in his favor uh and that is not very common like you could easily lose when you put anything in this high risk uh uh situation um so uh but i mean i'm i do evaluate risk and i you know i a long time ago i had the opportunity to invest in in intel stocks and i think it was the stock options uh, when i was working for intel and everybody was um, investing uh because in stock doubled in value and a lot of people were like wow uh and i had a coworker who had a 401k and he thought he could just retire early so he moved all of his uh 401k from um uh, uh you know diversified you know let low risk for 1k to intel and when he did that um yeah, the intel stock value dropped to half and so he instantly you know he, he had his stock running safely for so long and building a little bit so he could retire he instantly lost half of his value by taking such a big risk uh so i mean yes investment is very risky but it could be very lucrative too um i um watch tesla stocks and i wish i had invested in um, stocks but i didn't understand enough about uh i didn't think tesla was going to do so so good in this uh time like to 2020 when all the other businesses were suffering his business was growing and literally his stock went up from $80 to $800 some dollars you know how much that is that's 10 times uh gain so if you put $1000 in his stock you would have had $800 yeah in less than a year that's that's a huge return i'm like i don't know of any other bank or anything like that and everybody like um, there are a lot of people that knew they would have invested people who did invest they were high risk taker and they like they uh they basically um benefited from the risk that they took and that's why a lot of people follow him um uh, uh what you call uh like a cult because they know just by following him by being in his shadow they can be very successful and you know they're they're not wrong um uh, um uh, but then again um high risk high rewards come from by taking high risk so uh you have to you have to balance it out so i mean some people are like once you have a bad experience with investment you lose some money you will be very shy of investing your money um so try not to lose your money you know invest in uh ideas that uh i mean i don't know it's just very hard to say you you need to be well aware of uh what um what is going on so when you're investing in tesla stock you believe that tesla is going to deliver the products that they're promising right uh they're banking on fact that they're going to have a battery that's going to have a very high energy density he's building his own batteries away from panasonic he wants to um he wants to have full control over his production he doesn't want to buy anything from anybody and so far he had a very good relationship with panasonic so um i mean the guy worked his deals with like he bought a old toyota factory worked in there i mean like he started with lotus uh uh i mean roaster tester uh roaster was a very small project he sold n- not many roaster then he sold a lot of model s then no model 3 mo- model x model y i mean uh doesn't like to give money to dealerships uh like every other manufacturer he has his own dealership so point is he's and he built his own uh uh supercharging network initially it was free now he's charging so and i'm pretty sure he's charging more than what he's paying because he's probably paying commercial rates and he's definitely charging more so 
initially lost money now he's probably making money so uh he's not no this tesla don't really have any free supercharging anymore they used to uh, uh people who were uh, original model s buyers they did get that uh and i was like how in the world he's doing that of course he had the government funding and he was subsidizing the electricity to gain more uh, adoption so he wanted i mean it's the same thing like imagine i mean i've had electric cars and i always liked technology and i just uh, never execute on my ideas the way he's executing on his ideas like electric cars you know been around for a very long time and um the guy um uh, took that idea and he basically turned around the electric car industry by making those cars efficient uh and you know when he got into it i mean i was watching that too when before he got into the um electric cars uh he like before tesla uh there were people actually uh doing it as a hobby like they were converting uh their trucks old pickup trucks or cars with dc motors charge controllers not charge converter controllers just uh dc uh dc to dc converters and um i have two of those projects purchased myself so i really wanted to build my own electric car um uh once you have the drivetrain uh like the dc motor you just couple it with the transmission on any car and put the dc to dc converter or dc or inverter that like a motor controller dc motor controller and then have batteries and you're done i mean it's not very complicated to make a, a electric car uh they're very simple so if you didn't know elon actually uh builds every part of it from motor uh the body uh inverters the batteries so guess what he makes profit on every single item uh instead if he actually purchases it from third party like most of the manufacturers do like toyota doesn't build everything they buy parts from uh, here and there so uh they try to um make it so that that they make money but at the same time they don't have the full control over everything uh of course they're big so i'm pretty sure now uh, the suppliers have a very good relationship with them but uh i mean think about it this way toyota didn't even want to take the risk of making a supra because they looked at what their previous uh stats of supra was and they didn't sell that many supra so uh toyota wants to make camrys uh, corollas they want to make the cars that they sell they make more mm, a lot of money on uh supra was not something toyota uh, was banking going to bank on they were going to make it for concept but they were not going to make a lot of money because they're not going to sell that many for them it's just a uh, uh, waste of money so they decided to go with the least expensive route of manufacturing uh that shows like like the their the management is very conservative when it comes to i mean you have to understand that supra was going to be an image for a toyota and the management is very conservative so they didn't take the risk of building another supra uh spend a billion dollars or something um i mean that's what it cost to build a new car and even though they have the ft supra um prototype they just um decided to go with the um uh, uh BMW and let them build the chassis and let them build the engine and interior and they just uh change few things tweak it it's like something that anybody can literally pick up a BMW and tweak it uh it wasn't really much effort that to it up put into it so i mean you don't win big uh because of that plus the fact that i'm pretty sure everything um bmw is going to take a lot of money out of the supra build uh they're not going to uh the money is i mean you know you don't have a majority share you bought if, even if you're building it like 30% 15% 20% whatever the uh of a supra you're not going to get all the money bmw is going to get all the money elon 
uh, understands uh, and he understands that there's a progression. When he made a roaster, he didn't think he was going to sell a lot. He knew that he wasn't going to sell a lot. But he wanted to get people's interest in his business. Uh, so he started with a... <clears throat> uh, there was a big... Uh, big misconception in people's mind that electric cars are slow a lot of people associated themselves uh well, the electric cars with golf carts i mean yes golf carts are slow they they don't need to be very fast you are literally using them as a basically a slow vehicle to move around in uh on grass uh and you don't need to be very fast so i mean but People thought all electric cars were like that. Um, and that's because that's all they saw. Uh, conversions and were very slow too because they had a big bulky batteries. So I believe before Elon came up with the model uh, Roadster, uh, there was a guy local. We have a, his, he had an electric car that he was taking to PIR and he literally uh, beat... Uh, other gasoline cars he had it was called white zombie i believe uh this guy basically had capacitor super capacitor or something like that he had high discharge battery or capacitors and he basically raced the gasoline cars and he impressed a lot of people by beating a lot of production cars uh, and i believe that's how people got um like but the guy was engineer. I don't know if, who he sold his idea to, but uh, it inspired. He inspired a lot of people. So that's when you know now Tesla has done the same thing. They started with the Roadster, the Model S. Uh, from high, I mean, from going from a, a sports car to a luxury passenger car to now a uh, Model Three, which is basically um, economy car. Even then, it's not really like a it's no corolla price point but uh they're they're getting trying to make it cheaper um so what they have done differently is like controlled every aspect of the business so all these things are very good but the fact remains that um um tesla doesn't like anybody else working on them uh so because then again um he's trying to control every aspect and he has his reasons uh but if he goes out of business, then you are done. If you have any Tesla, uh, Teslas you driving, you know, uh, it's not like, uh, you know, anybody else is making parts or anybody else will be replacing it. You, you know, you could probably find used car parts and fix them. But if anybody who has worked on a car that's no longer manufactured and parts are hard to get, it's super difficult to uh repair things and then that just becomes cost prohibitive to repair a car that has um 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 hard to find parts so the point is that yes it's a good idea to control uh certain aspect of business uh because you can have control over the quality but that doesn't mean uh you shouldn't trust the third party uh to chime in and you know it helps uh but he 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 likes to keep all his profit i mean it's not like it's a money decision it's like uh, if he repairs his teslas then he gets the all the service uh, uh money if he sell makes his all his parts guess what he gets all the parts money and if he's uh doesn't use dealership guess what that's kind of marketing right so he keeps all that money too so um i mean very risky but at the same time very rewarding and my point is i mean i'm not saying go buy his stocks but i'm just saying uh and i don't even know at this point like if he's going to deliver on what he's saying and even he doesn't know um of course he's pushing his employees uh or engineers that he hired to deliver on the batteries and of course he he's concerned about the progress and everything like uh, the same way like uh when he, he pushed the engineers to build the uh rocket and all the stuff so the point is it's not that um easy 
to be an investor, like you have to look at all the facts. Uh, you can't just uh, put your money in Tesla stock without understanding the guy at all. I mean, if you don't know anything about Elon and you just put your money into it, um, you're an idiot. Um, don't do that. Uh, so study whatever you want to invest in. Um, same is true for crypto. Do not put your money into some crypto because it's go gone up uh, eight times, 10 times, uh, you know, or 100 times. You just don't want to do that. You want to do your own research and understand what the crypto is based on. Look at other factors. My main factor is looking at the market cap, but that's not a guarantee. But generally, it decreases the likelihood of um, uh, manipulation. And, um, you know, I knew when Ethereum came out um, right away uh, that it's, uh, it's, it's, it's going to be here because there were so many other coins. Like, there were thousands of cryptos and Ethereum stood because it was, like, pretty easy to understand. The team was on the right track. Uh, they had good intentions and it was a good coin. Uh, they they said they were going to be decentralized. They're going to be ASIC resistant. Uh, all good things. I mean, there were other coins trying to do the same thing. There was Zcash. There was, uh, I believe, Litecoin was still GPU mineable at that time. But the fact remained that they stood out. And I'm like, I, I had the feeling that they're going to grow. But it just like when I know. And it took four or five years for them to be where they are right now. So um, did did I believe that uh, they're going to go uh, to where the value is right now? No, I did not. Uh, I mean, the, I knew it was going to go high, but I didn't know when and what eventually it did. So do you know if it's going to do the same thing again? Like, uh 10 time increase in another five years don't know but you look at the factors i mean what else is there um there's not that many choices so you have to pick the one that oh everybody believes in uh and it has to be a good product um the biggest uh advantage uh with ethereum is smart contracts um it they basically let other applications run on them uh bitcoin is not designed for that bitcoin is just designed to replace gold um they're basically finite number of bitcoins where ethereum is not finite so these are the basic things i mean there are other other details too but uh um uh you you need to know those things before you put your money into it um and for some reason i have a pretty good uh sense of uh uh investment i don't put my money into uh things that i don't understand very well so i have so far even i i didn't even lose any money on the stocks even so when intel stock my co-worker lost half his 401k and i i cashed it out they were saying don't cash it out just uh, ride it and it's gonna go be better but it kept going down and down and um i cashed out right away i i was out uh, even though i could have stayed I mean, it's like it wasn't like my. It wasn't um, my. Uh, wasn't gonna affect my ability to pay my bills or anything like that. But I just, I didn't see that a good time to uh, hold it. So I just sold it and got out, and it was the right choice. Um, and it was down for a very long time after that. I'm talking about back in 2000 uh 2000 yeah about 2000 uh dot com crash i think that's when w w around that time um so yeah so yeah just be smart with your money um don't put your money in consumer products uh unless you're trying to sell or retail uh it's your business but putting your money into things that are just not considered investment is a bad idea uh, at the same time it's also a bad idea to put in invest in products or invest in uh, um, 
stocks when they are going uh they don't have the solid uh foundation they're gonna go down so yeah um happy investment and good luck with your research thanks bye